video, I'll just be going over from start to finish how I create this gritty, energetic thumbnail style. Now, of course, it's extremely important to do something different. There are so many people on YouTube who just try to use the exact same thumbnail style as other people to the extent that you can't even tell them apart. So, of course, it's going to be best to do something that stands out from the crowd and just pops, but... Hopefully you can get some ideas, some inspiration from this. I start out by gathering images to use as backgrounds and elements in the thumbnail. I made a video a while back about how to find good images using Google, so if you want to see that, you can click the top right hand corner. And uh, that's a sandwich. One website I recommend for free images is Pixabay. The images are free to download and you don't even have to credit the artist, but you should credit the artist. Pulling images directly from the video also works. At this point, I add in some text. Now, it's very tempting to copy and paste the title into the thumbnail, but it is best, if possible, to condense the title into a two to four word phrase and put that in the thumbnail instead of the entire title. You could also try using a completely different phrase from the video. BuzzFeed does this a lot. At this point, I color correct all of the elements to make them look like they belong together. On this thumbnail, I didn't bother to blur out the background because there wasn't really one, it was just a wall, but I usually do add a blur effect to the background. There's a lot of interesting things you can do here, so just play around with different types of blurs. At the very end, I add some visual accents like grunge, grain, and ink blotches to add a bit of grit and energy to the image. Finally, I sharpen the entire image. This just helps to make the image stand out as a tiny thumbnail and also adds an extra bit of grittiness overall. Now there is one extra little bit of advice that I'd like to include in this video. If you upload the thumbnail and YouTube's just like, NOPE! Just open the image in paint and reduce the size in pixels, or save the photo as a JPEG until the file size drops below 2 megabytes. Anyway, I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, make sure to click that like button, and of course, share this video on Facebook and Twitter. That really helps to up that view count, because upping the view count is a good thing. And also, you should subscribe, because I make videos like this every week. Okay. I'm out of breath now. Bye. I'm also talking really close to the microphone. Okay, I'm gonna end the video now. This is awkward.